Great to have you with us. You know, we're going to go gluten-free a little bit on the southern of the border there. We're going to take a little flair of Mexico. Um, Which border? The so southern border. Southern border, gotcha. You know, yeah, yeah. South of the border. <laughs> nice. But, uh, anyway, he's, um, I'm going to shop with a little onion, a little uh, red bell pepper, and um, we're going to saute that very quickly. I think it's, you know, just had another element to it. And again, you see, I do everything, and uh, Tony do the rest. That's my cue. <laughs> uh, so we have some cooked chicken breast, and I'm just going to start shredding them um, so that we build, build everything together there in the enchilada. I mean, we're going to make a... You know, the, the little trick you do all the time, Tony, I see um, you always put those enchilada, those corn uh, cortilas in the microwave for a couple of seconds before you work with them. Yeah, just before you work, work with these guys, uh, it's nice just to get them a little zap in the microwave, just to soften them up a little bit. They roll, they tend to roll a little easier. Okay, that should be plenty. I'm going to take that on my little uh, saute pan here. Bring them over here. And you can add mushrooms or avocados. Oh, and we just chose kind of to do some sautéed red pepper and red onion in ours today. See, I was not sure my pen was big enough. That's why I stopped, and it's plenty of room. I'm going to add something. More is the merry. I got your back. Okay, we're rocking here. And you got the, the chicken already done, Tony? Chicken shredded. Yeah. Uh, I like to start like with a nice little layer of that enchilada sauce, and we've got some red. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. I like a little bit. Get a little kick to this thing here. Be generous there, so those, those enchiladas have some. Have some liquid to swim around in when you put them in the oven or in the broiler. I'm going to start laying out the tortillas here as well. A little steam coming off. I'm not crazy hot, but nice and warm. We'll start with four. I like this one better. I'm going to straight it out. I'll do a little pepper jack cheese. See, I just cover the pepper for a minute like that. A little bit of the steam will braise and really keep the flavor. I accelerate the process a little bit that way. I'm just put a nice thin layer of chicken across a half of those shells. We got the cheese going. Chef's almost ready with his veggies. And look at that. Be ready We're to on go. fire. I'm waiting for him again. Go figure. I told you. <laughs> Beautiful. Yep. Give them a nice mix here. Oh, that smells amazing. Try to get some of that liquid off the bottom of the pan yeah, too. Juice, Coat yeah, that chicken. Pressed. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Yeah, start that side up. Yes, chef. Nice and tight. And wrapped all the way over, and then nice and snug here. We're gonna coat these guys with a little bit more of that enchilada sauce. Let's see if we can get that one in there. Beautiful. He was measure before. Look like that, Tony. Nice and generous. Generous. And everything is cooking there. I mean, it's really just matter about getting warm again. Melting know? that cheese, yeah. It's all right. Understand why your wife don't let you cook at home now. <laughs> she can't afford me. All right, so the enchilada here. We're just going to get it in the broiler there for a little bit because all of our ingredients were warm, so we're just going to let that cheese melt for a second. Uh -huh. We're just going to let that cheese melt quick. for a second. Uh -huh. 
careful that thing go quick, you know, that thing is like, yep. it's on fire. I mean, it's really, um, you know, not everybody, I think, think about, uh, you know, the, the corn tortillas to be gluten-free. I mean, yeah. sometimes they're, they're all the time that way, or sometimes they don't. Or? I just think read the package, yeah. you know, the, the, a lot of your local, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like 99% uh, of them, they are that way. But um, it's like you said, I mean, it's always nice to write the package and make sure, you know, peace of mind. Is, uh, exactly. And they're very simple to use and, and they're very versatile, as we're, we'll, we'll see throughout our gluten-free adventures. I'm just going to give that a little spin there. Okay. That sounds good. I'm close to ready to go. I mean, the chicken, you know, it's very, it's very um, kind of a kid-friendly food also. You know, I'm sure like any kid in America would love that kind of uh, cuisine, you know, very simple and... and um, you know, just some good flavor to yeah, it. Yeah, and you can certainly add uh, ground beef or anything else to the enchiladas uh -huh. that you want. Some pork or something. Some shredded pork would be good as well. I'm going to check on these again. Oh, yeah. It's coming. Let's I give it a minute. I'm going to get a little color on that yeah. cheese and we'll be I ready to go. I know sometimes that uh, the other day I was like toasting some bread and um, <laughs> doing some little biscotti. And it's like... I turned around for two seconds. It goes from burnt. zero to burnt and, <laughs> no, uh, before, exactly. you, <laughs> before you even know it. Yeah. And my son makes fun of me and says, you, you're a chef. You, and you need some help you, over there? You, know, <laughs> you burn everything, you know. Oh, here we go. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's, Voila. that's the way you want it, yeah, for sure. That looked good, Tony. That looked great. It's um, simple. Sample, one, two, three, and ready to go. Yeah, and it's gluten-free, yeah. Nice to have you with us. Don't go away. Thank you.